Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a loyal subscriber, welcome back. So let's begin your reading. Let's find out what's happening in your love life, Virgo. Okay. The cups that I'm sorry, the cards that I'm getting. There's a lot of cups. Now, what I'm seeing from these energies is that there's this sense of grief and sadness. It's like sleepless nights, and I'm picking up this energy of regret and stress and just not being able to cope with the situation. These are the cards from the bottom of the deck and there's a very heavy sense of a subtle energy but it is there and there's something going on right now in your love life that is very overwhelming very difficult to deal with i feel like some of you are feeling very stressed out very burdened by these energies okay you might be feeling like you don't know what to do anymore you might be feeling a great sense of um you know challenging elements that are coming in to play a role. It feels as if some of you are in a position of turmoil and you don't know the way to get out of it, okay? Let's clarify these energies. Now, I feel like it's connected to the future and something relating to the future of your relationship with this individual has come into question. It feels as if there's this giant question mark, in fact, and some of you are feeling like you don't know what to do. And so the worry, anxiety and not being able to offer love has put you in a very precarious position of not knowing whether you should you know, stick this out or you should give up, okay? Some of you are feeling as if the person you are dealing with on an emotional front is not giving you much to go on. And I feel like there's a deep sense of disappointment and unhappiness connecting their energy to your energy because you feel as if they're not, you know, giving you any sort of hint or sign. That's what I'm picking up from their energy. I feel like many of you are quietly looking for a way out of this difficult situation, quietly hoping for things to turn around, okay? And this energy is very overwhelming. What I'm also noticing from the cards is that there's a sense of some of you having your absolute happiness and joy from this relationship, from this person that you're dealing with. And then there's this element of betrayal, there's this element of feeling defeated. You know, some of you may feel as if this individual deceived you or did something in this connection. Someone wasn't as honest or forthright about something. I just feel like this energy is very uh, suspect because it's showing that there was this, you know, coming together. It provided so much joy. You may have felt as if, yes, you finally found the one, you know. Everything was going to be okay. Everything was going to be wonderful and marvelous. And then I'm seeing this element of betrayal come into play. 
So it's giving me the impression here that a lot of you are very worried about this situation and you don't know how to get out of it, okay? This is a very interesting sort of energy. There was a great deal of happiness at one point for many of you. Now, I feel like something came out in the open. You may have had some sort of epiphany. This individual may have said something to you that may have taken you by complete surprise. I am picking up that energy of where they may have opened up and told you things that you didn't expect for them to say to you. It feels as if many of you felt like, you know, they abandoned you or they left you there and you didn't know how to come back from it. And what I'm also seeing is that you were trying to do the right thing in this situation, but you just were left very isolated, very lonely. It feels as if many of you, you know, were questioning if this person is for you, if this situation is for you. You know, it left you with that you know, energy of just not knowing. Right, these are very difficult energies. So for those of you that are unaware, you can also watch your moon rising and Venus on this channel. Let's see, let's get into these energies more closely. Someone may have been a little bit cruel to the other person. And there's this energy of just trying to push these emotions down. And it felt very painful for you to witness this individual treat you in this way in which they may not have been acknowledging this love or giving it the kind of respect and, you know joy that it deserved it feels like there's something concerning the past it feels like this energy of where someone has been hurt tremendously and so they're coming out trying to hurt the other individual and they're taking their wounds and showing it to the other person and then they're lashing out in a very aggressive way that's what i'm picking up on the energy and sometimes this can be passive aggressive even in a situation where an individual is feeling hurt and they don't know how to do that so they do the most unpredictable unrealistic things and they lash out and they say the most hurtful things you know it doesn't really make sense in the moment but if you look deeper into it, you know, they will blame you for some of the things that are going on in the situation. These are very heavy energies. I feel like the element of blame is coming through very strongly. It feels like some of you might be put in a position in which you are made to feel guilty, but perhaps for something you didn't do. It feels like you know, the, the Virgo energy, they're always wanting to be there for people, always wanting to help people, always wanting to be needed in order to have a purpose. So whether they are a mother, whether they are a father or a lover, a friend, etc., they're always the most helpful individuals. They'll try to step in and do things for you that you don't really need them to do. And so I feel like this individual has associated you in that light because you're so very helpful and they were naturally... Uh, drawn to you because you have this very giving loving energy and I feel like there's something that happened unconsciously with this person where they looked upon you and thought to themselves well this person is a fixer they are a doer you know they are action orientated and I'm referring to you Virgo and they may have assumed under that sort of logic that you were going to be there to solve their problems and to make things right 
and there were certain internal problems, certain internal issues happening for this individual that you couldn't solve because you either couldn't see it or this individual didn't show it to you. So when these things were occurring in the course of the relationship, you may have witnessed certain red flags or seen certain things that made you, you know, look closer at uh, this person lashing out or acting in a certain way or behaving in a very uh, unpredictable manner. And you may have thought to yourself that you did something wrong when in fact it wasn't you. It feels like this individual was looking for you to fix their wounds, to heal their pain, to take away their sadness. So, yeah, that's what I'm picking up from the energies. There's no question about the fact that this person cares about you. But I feel like at the same time, they're trying to put an end to those little voices they hear inside of their head. Because I feel like they keep quiet about a lot of things that go on inside of them. And they don't really let you see completely what is going on. They don't let you see completely what is happening in terms of their energy. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up that this person, you know, they don't really show you what's happening inside of them. But there is... There are things, in fact, that are going on in terms of elements collapsing, falling apart. I feel like a lot of wounds, a lot of damage, a lot of trauma, emotionally in nature, very difficult energies. And it's hard. It's hard to love somebody like this. So I feel like for some of you, you might be feeling as if, when is this going to change? When is the situation going to improve? Okay, so let's see. Clearly, there might have been a breakup and it might have left you in a position in which you're trying to fight to reconnect to this individual, but you also feel at the same time that they're very broken, very broken. So I feel like you experienced this massive amount of happiness and joy, especially with this particular card. And the thing that really struck you as odd is this energy of where did this deception, betrayal or this energy come from? You know, it feels as if it's a spear that was flying through the air and it struck you down and it took you by shock. It took you by surprise. There might have been things that were said or behavior that was played out or actions that you just can't make sense of. And it makes you feel as if this is a very irrational set of behaviors, a very unthinkable set of actions that you would not have assumed that they could do to you. You know, for some of you, you may have felt abandoned or the way they broke up or the way they did things. It just felt as if it left you with this emptiness inside of your heart, like you were literally punched in the lung, right? I feel like that energy of where you had the wind knocked out of you because their actions or behavior just left you in a state of hysteria. And you usually have things figured out, but their behavior, you know, I feel like it just didn't make sense. But the thing is, it's coming from a place of pain. It's coming from a place of sadness. And now what it's left you with is this energy of, can you trust them again? You know, can you come back to the situation? Can you ever not worry that they will do this to you again? You know, I feel like it took away from you. It took away from your ability to look at them in a certain light. But it depends on how forgiving you are when it comes to this individual, you know. So I went very deep into that energy. Let's have a look at another energy hope you guys are enjoying these longer tarot card readings because many of you may be at home right now due to what's going on in the world. I hope that you guys stay safe. And that your family is protected. In some ways, these lockdowns that are happening is a good thing because some people have parents that are workaholics and they're old and they need to stay at home and take care of themselves. So the government is doing their very best to protect all of us during these uh, very difficult times. I 
I'm seeing from this situation, from these particular cards actually, that for a long time there was this energy of trying to make sense of what to do with this connection, what to do with this relationship between you and this person. And I feel like the two of you felt drawn together because of the love that was uh, binding the two of you. It was a powerful energy. I'm also sensing from the energies that things sort of just fell apart. It fell apart in the most you know, unpredictable of ways, and it left everything broken. So let's clarify these energies. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I will be looking more closely at this individual, as well as providing you with more information. I feel like it's very hard to get a kickstart with this individual because they are keeping this energy of where, you know, there's, there's not much to go on because I'm feeling like there's a sneaky behavior and this individual being stuck in all patterns, all habits. There's this element of wanting to win, wanting to sustain this conflict because maybe someone likes the drama or it keeps their wounds very raw and they play on that. Sometimes people do that. And so you may feel as if they're very hard to read. And it might be very difficult for you guys to deal with that. There's no question that there is love here, but it just feels as if it's been marred by some of these difficult energies. For some of you, you could be dealing with an individual that could be your soulmate, your true love, or perhaps the two of you had, you know, some lifetimes together. Because I'm picking up these old baggage energies that are pouring out from deep within the soul, and you really don't know where it's coming from exactly. Some could be linked to this person's childhood. But I feel like until the two of you have a proper conversation or until things are established in terms of how to move forward, this relationship... It's going to be very difficult to have a kickstart here because what I'm sensing is there's changes happening and there's endings that are going on that are that is causing grief. And someone is trying to put on a very brave face and pretend as if this is not affecting them at all. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. Have a wonderful day and take care, Virgo.